I haven't recorded a video message for a little while, so I thought I would say hi on video. I know that this thing has dragged on for longer than most of us had anticipated, and we are not out of the woods yet. I hope that um, you're all keeping well and safe. And if you do get sick, please let us know, and we will at least keep you in our prayers. I know that this has taken all of us by surprise, and we're not quite sure how to be church in this situation. And I think we've kind of muddled through to a relatively good place. Um, the online services, we've kind of figured those out to a certain extent. And the good news is we have a very large grant, nearly $4,000, from the diocese to improve our sound and video equipment so that when we do finally gather back together, we can keep broadcasting the services at somewhat of the same um, standard, which will be fantastic. Now, things have changed and things are not going to go back to how they were, and that's just one example. We will continue to broadcast our services even when we're together again. And even when we're together again, I know there will be a sizable amount of people who are reluctant to come into a building with other people because it's frightening and there is some risk. I mean, let's be honest about it. As long as this virus is around and we don't have a vaccine which will really work well, there is risk in being around other people, whether it's the grocery store or church or wherever we are. So I think we need to be prepared for that change. We need to be prepared for the physical look of worship, which at least initially will be that unless you're with your family, you're going to sit a long way from other people. Numbers in church will be vastly reduced. We will have a cap on numbers. So I just want to say all that of you, so you can start mentally preparing for something that's going to look different. And I think the big thing that we really have to take on board is that moving online is something that's here to stay and that our resources have to be more focused on online ministry. That's how we're going to go going forward. We will never stop having in-person ministry. We will never stop trying to grow our in-person ministry. But our real messaging and our real outreach is going to have to go online. It's just the way that the world is working now. And so I want you to be prepared for that change. The clergy team here are well aware of the change and the vestry will be talking about that. But things are different. We can't just go back to what we had before because we've learned a lot during this process. We have people watching online who we don't even know who they are, which is fantastic news. Um, but we need to figure out how to do that as a community. And that's going to take a lot of patience and a lot of trust and a lot of prayer. And I would ask you to begin engaging in that process now. That is what we can do. We can start praying and listening and hoping for a slightly different future whilst maintaining the integrity and structure of what we already had. That's going to be a juggling act, but you can make that happen. I cannot do that on my own. I have to have the prayers and support and input of the parish in order to guide our formation into the next few months and next few years. So please engage in this process. I will feel very abandoned and on my own and will make way too many mistakes if you do not walk this journey with me. So please keep me in your prayers and the other clergy and the vestry as we go forward. Please hear me say we will never abandon in-person worship and we are not looking at ripping out the integrity and tradition of our in-person worship and we are trying to figure out how to maintain that integrity and tradition and translate it into the whole new world of online ministry. So please hear that. I know it's really hard to hear that core and have me talk about change, but that's where we are. 
You will get to come back eventually. Things will look different initially, but we are still the same people, and we still have the same tradition, and we still have the same love for God, and we're still reaching out to the community in these amazing ways. And I need you to stick with it, and I need you to pray hard, and I need you to have open hearts and open minds. I'll see you all soon.